So the question is, like, how do we get to that place? Like, if we can actually live in that space, what does it take to get us there? And I think it's perspective. It's a perspective that comes from a renewed mind that reminds us that we are exiles in this place. That our true citizenship is not here, but it's elsewhere. That's what Paul says in the book of Philippians. He uses that exact language in the book of Philippians. He says that a renewed mind understands that our true citizenship isn't here, but it's with Jesus. He winds down the book of Philippians saying, but our citizenship is in heaven. And we eagerly await a savior from there, the Lord Jesus Christ, who by the power that enables him to bring everything under control. So let's stop just for a minute and recognize who has the true power. Like, who has true power, true control? It's not Biden. It's not Evers. It's not anybody else in power. It's Jesus. He has true power, true control, true authority. By the power that enables him to bring everything under his control, he will transform. There's that word again. Don't be conformed to this world, but be transformed. Our true citizenship is with Jesus. And we eagerly await him to return. Because when he does, he will bring everything under his control. And he will transform our lowly bodies so that they will be like his glorious body. So the perspective with which we live, the renewed mind with which we live, is that Jesus is the true king of all. He is the one who, is in truth, who has the true authority over all. And there will come a day when he will make all things right. There will come a day when he will administer justice like we have never seen before. And it will be true. And it will be pure. And it will be good. And so in the meantime, we await that day. And we do so with radical hope. Living as respectful citizens. Trying to work for the welfare of our community knowing that one day all things will be made right. And in the meantime, we live as people through respecting those we disagree with, that a new world and a new reality is coming. So may you see that your true citizenship is with Jesus. May that free you to respect those who are in authority, even when you disagree with them, who are over you. And in doing so, may you bear witness to the reality of a new and better world.